Hey guys, what's up? Xanthicore here to bring you another tutorial. Um, this one's on how to set up your own source server. Uh, this is actually pretty easy, but um, I got a request and um, I decided to do it for you. So I haven't done the source recorder yet, but um, I just haven't quite gotten to it yet. I'm still working on it. Trying to figure out how I want to record it because, you know, whatever. Um, so this is how to start your own server. We're going to go through the ports, your router, and how much upload you have, and how to get into your own server. So, let's start with your router. Um, for every server, you have a UDP port, which is um, the port that your server runs on. Most servers uh, run on port 27015, but I run my server on port 27016 because my router likes port 27016. So if you connect to your router, um, there are several ways to connect to your router depending on what router you have. Mine happens to be http colon forward slash forward slash 192.168.1.1 because I have a Linksys router. Can open that, you'll get this nice warning here in a few seconds. Alright. And it'll open momentarily. And in your username and pa password to get into your server, depending on router you have, you can always follow on their website or uh, some other website. They can help you out. And if you want to know, just um, post on the website. WizzyWorld.tk. I actually got the um, site renamed, so it's uh, HTTP colon forward slash forward slash WizzyWorld.tk. It'll take you straight to the forums. So um, on your router, if you go over to Applications in, it should say Applications and something else, but usually it just says Applications. Um, if you make one that if you just um name the application it really doesn't you, you can name it whatever you want you can I just use um list dot dot server um two seven zero one six two two seven zero one six and um one nine two and then at this IP address um uh, this last number depends on um the IP of your computer so if you go back down to run and you type in CMD you'll get this cool black screen up here and you type in IP config IPCONFIG you press enter and um, it'll say IP address 192.168.1.100 that very last number is what you put in this IP address because this is the IP address for your computer save changes Alright, so you have just forwarded a port. If you need more help, you can always go to the website once again, uh, wizardworld.tk with HTTP in front of it. Alright, so now we're going to go on to how many players can you hold? And I didn't want to go to the store. No, I didn't. I pressed friends. Oops. Um, they have this right on their website if you press support. So it'll just take a few seconds since you know I'm recording everything takes an hour longer. Okay. And you type in optimizing O P D I M I Z I N G a dedicated server. What I just felt wrong. There we go. Okay optimizing a dedicated server and you'll get this one called optimizing a dedicated server you click there well you don't have to do this since I'm telling you about it but um, you get the idea alright so if you go to this one website called speedtest.net um, looks like this Or if you go to any other um, speed testing site, you can uh, figure out what your speed is. 
And I'll just give you a basic idea, but I don't know how good this is going to be since I'm currently running at 78% on my CPU. Pretty crappy, actually. Uh, and they recommend a server for you to test on. Um, oh, cool. Columbus, Ohio, sir, right? I have one of those. I, have, I usually have to use Cincinnati, but they got a Columbus one. Yeah. Okay. So, once you start doing your speed, oh, down here? Yes. Okay, this down here shows your IP. You want to remember that IP for a very long time. That is the IP to your server. Oh, that sucked. I usually get like 6 megs. And this last number down here, that's your upload speed. So if we go back over to optimizing dedicated server and we see that 512, I was um, about 512 connection, that's what it basically is. I can hold up to 9 players, but you can go ahead and rank it up to 10. But um, if it's 128k, you know, about 2 players, 256, 4 players, 326 players, 512, 10 players, 768, 14 players, and blah, 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 blah. You can go to the site and see that. Alright, so we're done on there now. Now that you've seen your IP and you know how many players you can hold, you can go ahead and set it to that. This is really bugging me. Alright, and you select your game. You select the name. I'm using Project Fred. And your Archon password. Archon password is like the password you want to use to get into your own server and screw with crap. There's this really cool program called HLS. Um, you can like play, play with servers in there. I'll post a link to it on the forums. Uh, it's pretty much like an external admin app. It's really handy. Uh, but after you get to that, you basically start your server. Which is pretty is going to take like a day and a half. Uh, wouldn't it be nice if recording things didn't use so much CPU? I still got to order that freaking CPU. It is currently 8.17 a.m. Wednesday morning. I didn't have school today and I got several tutorials to do. Well, not several. I got a couple to do. I got to do this horse recorder and other things. Alright, so here it is. Um, right here you see this IP address. This is not your IP address. Your IP address is uh, one thing I already showed you. Where you can go to like uh, what's my IP.org I think it is. It'll show you your IP at the big top. At the end you just put a colon 27016 if you use port 27016. If not, then um, you can use any other port you want that works. Screw around with that. Have fun. Uh, that's pretty much it. Xanthacquire signing out. If I know which button is stop.